anomalous blobs of matter under Africa and the Pacific could drown our Earth in a 100 kilometers layer of lava. That's under 60 miles of lava. Despite decades of research, scientists remain divided about many of the processes taking place beneath our planet's surface, including details about the churning of molten metals in our Earth's core, which creates a magnetic field that protects our planet from deadly solar and cosmic radiation. Two massive formations of incredibly hot molten rock the size of continents are lurking underneath our surface, one of them situated under Africa and the other below the Pacific Ocean. Now, for the first time, Quanta magazine created a near a neat 3D model of the formations situated in the area where the Earth's molten core, the iron core, meets its rocky lower mantle, showing the formations as they appear to leak towards and upwards, outwards and outwards, upwards towards the Earth's crust. The model provides an important visual cue, which challenges the commonly held view of Earth that one might find in a science textbook, which shows geometrically clean spherical orbs of matter, starting with the solid inner core and the outer liquid core, the lower and upper mantle, and finally the crust. According to Quanta, the highest points of these formations can reach over 100 times that of Mount Everest, which, with its height of 8,848 meters above sea level, is the highest mountain on Earth. And if you somehow brought them to the surface, God forbid they contain enough material to cover the entire globe with lava, a lava lake roughly 100 kilometers deep, 60 miles deep, Quanta contributor Joshua Sokol warns. Geologists still don't know exactly what the blobs are with their role and uh, what they may be regulating, how they may be regulating Earth's processes. Since their discovery in the latter part of the 20th century, it's been speculated that they could just be clusters of hot plumes, hence the theory of the convection of super hot rock formations within the mantle, which has been proposed as one of the causes of volcanic hotspots. Another theory suggests that the blobs are a distinct component of the Earth's interior, the inner geography, consisting of thermochemical piles, quote-unquote, of dense rocks with a distinct chemical composition of their own, and which are hotter than the rest of the mantle. The second theory proposes that these materials are actually as old as Earth itself and unique in their makeup, making it impossible to find them anywhere else on the planet. A third theory says that the formations could actually be the remains of a massive ancient planet known as Thea, which it is speculated crashed into Earth and became embedded inside the planet after crashing into it some four and a half billion years ago. It was this event which is believed to have caused the creation of our moon, scientists who support this theory says, say. Now the core mysteries? Scientists' inability to reach a consensus on the range of geological processes taking below, place below an Earth's crust has led to concerns about just how much humanity can predict events that can drastically affect our planet. Last year, for example, the recently U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and the British Geological Survey were forced to update the world's magnetic model two times in one year as the magnetic North Pole was determined to be shifting out of the Canadian Arctic towards Russia, Siberia at a very accelerated pace. Scientists are not sure about the precise nature of the process of churning of molten metals in Earth's core, which produces the huge electrical currents to produce the magnetic field. At the same time, academics have expressed concerns about the possible impact of fluctuations in the magnetic North Pole on the overall strength of magnetic field protecting the planet from harmful solar radiation if the field were to disappear one day, Earth could quickly become bleached dry of life, helpless in the face of powerful solar flares, solar radiation by our sun, and also cosmic rays. This is on Bended Reality. Please leave your comments, and thank you for your support. Finally, support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.